and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. What I have been struggling with a long time is the fact that I've bought a heap of singles and I never used them. And I've been trying to come up with ways that I could potentially put them into rotation and get some more use out of them and create some cool eye looks with them. I remember loving Georgia Harris's videos last year where she made eyeshadow palettes based off TV shows, I think, or anime. And I have made an eyeshadow palette based off the recent released TV show Russian Doll. And these are the shades I chose. I've collated a little clips from the show that demonstrate some of the colour inspos that I got. So here we go. So I'd love to know what you think of the colours that I chose. Did I get it? Or do you reckon there's some other colours that might have gone in a bit better? This is definitely my first time doing something like this, so it was a bit intimidating. I really enjoyed Russian Doll. I know a lot of people haven't. It's got... Oh, lots of people seem to love it, but I've been hearing more and more a lot of people not loving it. The things I definitely recommend if you're going to watch it is watch past episode 3. And to quickly summarise it, I'd say it's like, it's like Groundhog Day for the new age. And I really enjoy sort of the message that it has and I loved, I love the building of different plot lines as they came through each episode. So if you haven't yet checked out Russian Doll, I definitely recommend checking it out and at least making it to episode three. It's definitely a bit more of a serious TV show than I usually watch, but I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed the way that they built the storyline to unfold. I don't know how they're going to manage the season two, but I enjoyed it for what it was. And so much so I decided to do my first eyeshadow palette on this. I am a bit of a TV show junkie, so I can keep these coming. Let me know if you think I should make a series out of these or what you reckon. Anyway, let's go on to the first look. Lol, I lied. I decided to swatch the whole palette. I wasn't going to do this, that's why I don't talk about it in the intro, but I'm doing it here now for you. You know, it's just one of those things you really have to include in a video sometimes, hey. Anyway, here are some of the lovely swatches. I could be talking about where the inspo comes. I mean, those light colours are from the chicken. And I went for some really heavy duochromes, just to really, for that vagina door, plus the ever-changing plot lines. A lot of these are from Enchanted Lustre Cosmetics, but one is from Cleon Day. And that deep blue from earlier that has the really shitty packaging is from Australis. I had to put my Dymo to good use for these because they weren't labelled on the back. So anyway, here's the final swatched shitty looking thing. I hope you enjoy. Anyway, now we are on to the first look. And did I ever say that I was doing two looks? Um, I feel like I forgot to say that. Anyway, we're going in with this light blue from Colourpop, Lost and Found. And I'm putting this down. I'm testing out this Illa brush that I bought. The Ila Beauty News girls are always going on about them. So I bought those sponges the other day. Let me know if you had tried out the sponges or if you want me to do a video. This is that shitty Australis packaging I was talking about. And I'm just using this to deepen the outer edge and blend it in. We're going in with some nice blues and packing it up. Ooh. But what's Toad still doing in this? I wonder. Lol, of course I know. I'm going to pack it on that outer corner edge. I thought this would add a really fun dimension to the look. And then we're going to Lavendale. This is from Enchanted Lustre Cosmetics. And I'm packing this onto my lid. It's a very pretty duochrome shifting shade. It's sort of a silver purple. It's, it's pretty. Look at that. That is pretty. And then going to Elf. And this is also from Enchanted Lustre. And I'm putting this on my inner corner and just blending that in to give it a nice little purple bloom moment. Now I'm going into a pale shade, De-Stress from Colourpop. And I'm just going to blend up the top. And then I've gone back to Double Denim in Australis. I forgot to show you that. But I am putting it underneath my eye and look at all that fallout all over the shop. i fix this up later, I assure you. Anyway, I'm just blending it out and now I'm kind of making more of a mess. But it's cool, you know. It's just a bit more smoked out. But it's all good. I'm also testing out one of those e.l.f. blending brushes that Butte Bean's always talking about. It's pretty good, I've got to say. And this is my first time using it. I like it more than that Illa brush, I think. But um, 
what I did in this outer corner is almost atrocious. But it just wouldn't want to stick to that little corner. And at a certain point, I gave up. I went in with a big blending brush just to smooth out those edges in the hopes to blow it out a little bit better and make it look a bit smoother. And then I'm cleaning up all that fallout. I think I got most of it cleaned up, though it looks a bit red now. And um, I'm pretty sure I leave it that way. But, you know, the colourful eye look hopefully distracts you from that later on in the video. Uh, there wasn't much saving it. So this is my Essence Liner in Purple Rain. Oh, I told you a little while ago I was going to declutter it, but then I swatched it and I couldn't. But then I decided to declutter it after using it this time. Now I'm going in with my Caution Hourglass Mascara and the sample. And this was painful to use with that small little thing. Oh my god. Look, I got some flakes on me. I mean, it's nice and I like the way it comes out. But samples sometimes are so annoying. Especially when they've got that triangle thing. Ugh, it was just difficult. But, you know, I'm cheap and I don't want to buy the full size. I think that's pretty fair. Alright, and now I'm showing you the final look. I really like this look. And I like what I did in the outer corner. I'm definitely keen to try this again. I think I would want to use a different deep blue or maybe a different primer with these. But it looks cool. And now I've added in my phone light just to hopefully bring out some more of those duochromes. And give you a good idea of what they do look like in the light. Anyway, let me know what you think of this look because we are on to look number two. And lol, I put some earrings on. I was being classy. We're going back in with the MAC paint pot to prime it down. I already did it off camera. And I'm just putting De-Stressed from Colourpop down as a nice little packing base, trying to powder it. This is Meteorite from Colourpop. And I'm doing my lovely little, oh, it's just the best way to describe this, like a V, a triangle, I don't know, an outer edge thingy on my eye. And then I'm linking it underneath my eye to create a nice definition that I can build the rest of the look from. Please let me know what I should call this. I've got no idea. I'd love your input. And this is Slim Fit from Colourpop. I'm using this in the crease to blend out that meteorite shade. It's a bit of a lighter red and it's not as deep as the other one. And then going back in with that e.l.f. blending blush that Butte Bean loves. And I am loving this brush. Just blending it through. Now I'm going in with Elixir of Life from Enchanted Lustre. And I'm going to say, I feel like this is a little bit of a mistake. And that is because I didn't use any Fix Plus and it went a bit everywhere. This is Afterlife, also from Enchanted Lustre. I'm putting that on my inner corner. And now we're using Colourpop Exit Liner. This is a white one. And we will be putting this on my waterline. I just, I love the Colourpop liners. They just give you such bang for your buck. They're really good. Um, also, I'd love to know what you think about this voiceover. This is the Natio Amphlan Separ Separate Mascara. Uh, this was so much easier to use solely, I think, because it had a longer handle and then I loved it more because of that. And in this, you can really see those little specks of that eyeshadow that have traveled down my face. I don't fix it. I'm really sorry. Anyway, this is the final look up close. I do really like this effect and I like this look. I just wish I'd cleaned up that eyeshadow from my face. Anyway, back to real time proof. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed the two looks I created with this eyeshadow palette. It's sort of a fun idea and I would be keen to do this with more TV shows that I love following and creating a colour theme to go along with it. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see me continue doing or what you um and what you think of the palette I made for this one. Do you think it do you think these colours make you think a little bit of Russian doll or was I completely off the mark? Um I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Uh, let me know down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you.